everyone, so today I wanted to do a Juicy Jabber update video for you guys because I feel like I haven't done one in so long and quite frankly they're kind of my favorite videos to do. You know, I obviously love doing my beauty videos, otherwise I wouldn't be doing them, but I feel like there's a little bit of a professionalism that comes on over those because I'm trying to teach you guys something, whereas these I can just sit down and hit record on my camera and do whatever I want. So that's why I'm really excited to do a Juicy Jabber for you guys and the first thing I want to talk about is actually the shirt. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in June, Elle and I did a meetup together in LA and we did two back to back. The first one was in Pasadena, Pasadena, California, so kind of close to LA, and it was at IMAX, the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And then we also did one at Forever 21 at the Beverly Center. Okay, so at the Pasadena IMAX one, and by the way, side note, th th that's me doing parentheses, by the way, like BTW side note, you know what I mean? Um, I told you guys and I promised that I would do an IMATS haul video. The reason I never did that is because I didn't even buy one thing at IMATS. I went to IMATS and I was super excited to get the discounted makeup and all that type of stuff. And then Elle and I ended up spending our entire time talking to people that had showed up, which is I would not have asked for it any other way, but I just wanted to let you know that that's why I never got around to doing an IMATS haul because I didn't have anything to haul. Okay, so, um, we did our little meetup there, and four girls came up. Veronica, Nicole, Bailey, and Sarah came up, and they were wearing white t-shirts that had I Heart Juicy Star 07, like a black eye and Juicy Star 07, and then a red heart, kind of like the I Heart New York City shirts. And they had homemade them, and I thought they were so cute, and I like took a bunch of pictures with it, and it's actually the screensaver on my phone right now. It's me with all of them, because I thought it was so creative and just a cool idea. But not just that, my screen name was on someone's shirt. That's just completely crazy. Anyway, so I took pictures with them, and then afterwards, Elle and I went to go get a little bite to eat at the concession stand, and the girls were in line right in front of me. So we talked for a really long time, and they actually showed up to the next meetup that was at Forever 21. They came to both meetups, and they were wearing different I Heart Juicy Star 07 t-shirts that they had homemade, and um, they brought me one for me to wear. So I'm going to show it to you guys. It is pink v-neck and they um hot glued rhinestones all around it and then it says i heart juicy star 07 and it has my picture on it i think it's so cute they said that it took them three hours to make which i completely understand because there are rhinestones all over it and let me just say when i was making my snooky rhinestone sunglasses i was using really little rhinestones and hot glue and the hot glue gun the tip of it was too big to fit in between my fingers and get the glue on it. So every single time I would burn my fingers with the tip of it, which got really old really fast, but those sunglasses took me three hours and I know how hard it is to hot glue something for three hours. So thank you so much girls. And I just wanna let you guys know that the reason I hadn't worn it in a video before is because lots of people had brought me things to the two meetups. You know, I got t-shirts, I got homemade notes, I got big posters, and I couldn't fit them all in my suitcase. So the hotel shipped them home for me. So I came home like the next day and then three days later the box came. And I opened the box and I went through all the notes, I read all the notes, all the posters, and I have a little box that I keep anything that someone like writes me or anything like that in there. If they write me a really sweet email, I'll uh, print it out and I'll put it in there. A shirt like this I would normally fold and put in my fitted t-shirts pile but I wanted to hang it up because I didn't want it to get wrinkly or anything and I remember putting it on a hanger and hanging it up in between my other two hot pink shirts and I went to go wear it in my next vlog video and it was nowhere to be found. Well, I was packing earlier and I came across this in my tank top drawer. Okay, you guys know how organized I am. There is no chance that I folded this and put it in my tank top drawer. Someone did it just to mess with me. I know, that's the only thing. Anyways, so I found it today, and I was like, OMG, WHKP, I have to wear that in today's vlog video. So there you go. Thank you, girls. That is why I'm wearing my face on my shirt, which you guys can't even really see, so it kind of keeps the purpose. Maybe if I just, like, stand like this for the rest of the video. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about, that's not very comfortable. The next thing I wanted to talk about is our move. Now, it has been a, not conspiracy, like a rumor kind of, for months that Elle and I are moving to LA or that we are already in LA and that this background is actually my bedroom in LA and that's why I switched bedrooms in my house. There are so many things. Listen, guys, the day Elle and I signed the lease and were for sure that we were moving to LA, we tweeted it to you guys. There is no reason that we would not want you guys to get excited about us with this because we were so excited. It's definitely not something that we were trying to hide from you guys, but on Thursday, October 7th, Elle and I are officially 
moving to Los Angeles. We are so, so, so excited. And I'm going to be graduated from high school by then. I'm finishing up my last class right now. It's trigonometry. So it's taking me a while just because you have to show all of your work on the math equations and things. And there are some really long exams I'm trying to get through. But that being said, I will be done by Thursday, October 7th. And I will be graduated, graduated from high school. And graduating a year early is a lot, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Because if you think about it, take the work you have right now. Now double it and try to add on all of the traveling, all of the work I've been doing, all of the videos I've been making for you guys, all of the glitzy glam stuff. So it's definitely something that, I'm playing with my hair a lot in this video, sorry. Um, it's definitely something that has taken me a while. But just so you guys know, because I know you're probably going to ask, college is still 100% definitely in the works for me. I'm completely planning on going to college. It's something that I just want to accomplish for myself. Some people think that, you know, you have to go to college. Some people think that college isn't necessary. For me, it's just something that I personally want to accomplish in my life. So I am still going to college. And Elle is moving to LA and that is like going to be her home. She is 22 years old. She is, you know, allowed to live on her own wherever she wants. She chose LA. I am having a room in her apartment, but I'm going to be back and forth between my parents' house and the LA apartment a lot. So backgrounds in my videos are going to be changing like crazy. I don't want to have to start off every single video that I do for you guys with, hey everyone, so right now my background's different because, so I just want to go ahead and put it out there that if my backgrounds are different, it's something that I'm not going to have a very consistent background. Um, but I do want to let you guys know that my room in LA, I am painting pink. It's not going to be as bright pink as my old bedroom because that did disturb the lighting a little bit. It was better than the blue, but it did disturb the lighting a little bit. But planning my new room, I took filming into consideration and I'm painting it a baby pink and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to tell you what bedding I chose yet um, because I want it to be a surprise for when I get there. But I can tell you that my friend's mom is actually making it for me. Um, the first time I went over to her house, she had really awesome bedding. And I am someone that loves decorating and designing bedrooms and things. I loved her bedding and her curtains and everything. And I asked her, I was like, where did you get this? And she was like, my mom made it. And I was like, you have a cool mom. So um, I actually found some fabrics that I really wanted to make a um, bedspread out of. And like a dust ruffle. And um, is that what they're called? Dust ruffles? I feel like that's so like something that my grandmother would have. Okay, so a bed skirt and some little curtains. Um, and I found fabrics that I really liked it in, but they, I couldn't find one online that they had actually made that I liked. So I asked her if her mom could make it and she said yes. So I'm having that made um, for my bedroom, which I'm excited about. Oh, something else that I really wanted to say um, at the beginning of this video, but I didn't get it out and now it's really far into the video. Um, I was so good about putting a video up every other day. That was my phone beeping text message. I was so good about putting a video up every other day and then I got sick and I couldn't put one up and it messed up my every other day, but I'm back on my every other day mode. Um, so I, I hope that through this move, I'm able to keep it up. But if I can't know that I am thinking about you guys and I am, I'm trying my hardest. I really am trying to get consistent videos up for you guys because I know when I'm watching another YouTuber, I don't like when there are long pauses in their videos. Um, so I'm trying to get one up on every other channel, every other day. So like, um, Juicy Star 07, then a blank day, then other Juicy Star 07, then a blank day, then Juicy Star 07, then a blank day, then other, you know what I mean? So yeah, if you are not subscribed to my other channel, you are missing out on half of my videos. I'll link it in the bottom bar below. Um, so I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about that. And I'm going to film a couple more videos in this bedroom so that when I first move, since the first couple days, I'm going to be really preoccupied with trying to set my bedroom up and you guys know how much of an organization freak I am, I won't be able to get anything done until my entire room is organized. I won't be able to function. So um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time organizing my room. And um, in that time, I probably won't have much time to film. So I'm going to film a couple of videos here before I leave so that I have them to update to upload for you. Let's cross our fingers that that actually happens because I say that I'm going to pre-film a lot and then I don't know what happens. I just, I, it, do, it doesn't get done. And so yeah, okay, so that's like a lot of just talk of stuff. Something that I'm absolutely loving right now, Selena Gomez's new CD, A Year Without Rain. I got the deluxe edition and it came with a DVD that included um, Girl Meets World Extended Edition, Girl on Film, Behind the Scenes, um, at the movie, at the photo shoot, A Year Without Rain video shoot, 
um, round and round music video, naturally music video, 50 minutes of DVD extras. I love Selena Gomez and I love this record. My favorite songs are A Year Without Rain, which by the way, I almost did a makeup tutorial for the A Year Without Rain music video. I absolutely love the makeup on that, but I felt like a lot of gurus were probably going to do that just like with Miley Cyrus's Can't Be Tamed. I really wanted to do a makeup tutorial for that, but I knew it's something that a lot of gurus were going to be doing. So I actually didn't do a makeup tutorial for it, but that is some of the prettiest makeup. And I love that music video. I love that song. I also like Rock God, Summer's Not Hot, which is actually a song. I feel like someone younger should be singing Summer's Not Hot, even though it's talking about like a hot guy. Um, I don't know, something, the vibe about it makes me feel like it's a little bit more Hannah Montana in her younger days. But I love it. I totally like younger songs. Um, and then there's one more, Sick of You. Sick of You I really, really like. And there's also her singing A Year Without Rain in Spanish on this CD. You better believe that I am trying to memorize it. I've been playing it nonstop. And I'm going to get it. And I'm going to sing it for you guys in Spanish. No, I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. But um, yeah, so no, I'm not like promoting Selena or any. Well, I guess I kind of am promoting her. Um, but I wasn't asked to. She has no idea I'm even doing this. Um, yeah, but this is like the soundtrack of my life right now. That's what's going on in my life right now. There are going to be new videos up very soon. I've been updating my blog a lot, which is really exciting for me because I actually have found that I really enjoy writing. It's BlairFowler.com. I'll put everything in the bottom bar. Um, yeah, so that's it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!